I don't think a lot of people know that, you know, music is my talent, but business has always been my passion. What's up, future billionaires? Welcome back to Big Bank Billionaires Channel. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the art of moving in silence. Like Lil Wayne said, real G's move in silence like lasagna. Jeezy depicts that bar to a T. We've all seen it or personally experienced it. A new business venture, relationship, or the pursuit of a personal passion or hobby, and the haters or fake supporters come out of the woodworks. Whether their goal is to tear you down or capitalize on your wealth, Observers perceive your ventures as opportunities, whether for financial gain or simply to join in on the excitement. A representation of mastering moving in silence is Jeezy himself. We never really know what he's up to. If you watch Jeezy on Verses with Gucci Mane, the line that stunned many was when Jeezy proclaimed he owned half of Atlanta. Think about it, I ain't got no $10,000 outfit, but I own half of Atlanta. You believe that, real estate. I used to have nothing, nigga, but uh, now I got a whole lot of everything. Let's get it. This took people to the internet questioning whether the rapper really did own half of Atlanta. This shout out to Jeezy and Tiff. They definitely own a lot of, they, they have more real estate than I do. They really do, uh, Jeezy has had. And if you watched our video on Gucci Man, by the end of the verses, the two made amends and chose to put their long time beef aside. Don't just watch, hit that like button and subscribe for more inspiring content. Now let's get it. J. Wayne Jenkins, AKA Jeezy, was born September 28, 1977 in Columbia, South Carolina. When he was a toddler, he relocated to Atlanta, Georgia to live with various family members due to his parents separating. When Jeezy speaks about his childhood, he speaks about how empty he felt growing up, which ultimately led him to the path of the street culture. Jeezy is well known as a popular Atlanta rapper and as one of the founding fathers of the trap music genre, initially making a name for himself on his major debut album, Let's Get It, Thug Motivation 101, selling 172,000 albums within a week. To explore the background of another key figure in trap music, Music, make sure to watch our video highlighting T.I. as Jeezy's rap career had an outstanding run with 13 studio albums, 18 mixtapes, 70 singles, and 28 music videos. While rap served as the primary avenue for accruing wealth and fame in the spotlight, behind the scenes, strategic investments, and diverse business ventures were always in the works. Life experiences shape one's mindset. The so-called billionaire mindset isn't solely innate or the result of privilege. Think of it like tending to a delicate seed. It's not enough to just plant it and hope for the best. You need to provide the right environment, nourishment, and care for it to grow into something strong and fruitful. Similarly, the billionaire mindset isn't something that just happens overnight or by chance. It requires consistent effort, learning, and perseverance to develop and thrive. Jeezy had a lot of disadvantages growing up, living with his mom and sister in a two-bedroom trailer. He would tell himself, if I ever made it, I was gonna own some stuff. They weren't going to be able to just kick me out and just have me in the streets. This mindset transformed into a tangible reality. Jeezy's intentional actions resulted in the creation of generational wealth, ensuring a prosperous future for his family's legacy. With the world transitioning into the social media age, there's an increasing pressure for everyone to flaunt designer clothes, shoes, luxurious vacations, flashy jewelry, and the newest vehicles in their driveway. This societal expectation drives people to extreme measures, including renting or accumulating debt, to acquire these status symbols. Think of Jeezy in comparison to Adam Sandler. We see Adam out here wearing the same clothes from the early 2000s. Don't get me wrong, Jeezy is in with the times, but what makes his flash unique, though, is what he is involved with doesn't need to be on the gram right away. His real estate portfolio started with connecting with a friend who gave him the real estate game. Jeezy started with purchasing land all over Atlanta and a few buildings. This was at the beginning of his career. Soon he was on tour, booked and moving. He left the property to grow in value. And once he found out how much of a return he was getting, Jeezy knew this was the move. After that, every big check he ever got, you know what, he bought property. Every time he had a birthday, he bought property. He doesn't buy chains, watches, cars, none of that. He buys property. The properties Jeezy has acquired over the years haven't only been for personal. He transformed one of his properties into a studio compound, which consisted of music studio space, a barbershop, office space, and a game room. Jeezy also purchased a 1620-unit multifamily building 
through JWJ Realty. The multifamily building will serve Greater Atlanta as an affordable housing alternative. Jeezy acquired a well-known steakhouse in Atlanta as well. Most don't know how much property Jeezy really owns, and he likes to keep it that way. I'll be honest, even trying to fact check all of Jeezy's business ventures was difficult. Jeezy's estimated net worth is $10 million, and I knew that figure didn't just come from nowhere. Jeezy has expanded beyond his rap career and real estate investments. He's ventured into the spirits industry, initially investing in Avion Tequila, later selling his stakes in the company for an undisclosed amount, but we can only guess the pretty pennies that came out of the deal. Jeezy went on to partner with Noud Spirits, who specialized in cognac and was growing their line with vodka and gin. The partnership deals didn't stop. Defiance Water was another creation that differed from the other entrepreneur projects. The water is an athlete's water, and Jeezy is hopeful that he will capture the attention of major brands such as Dr. Pepper to acquire the business or partner with him. Defiance Fuel is an exclusive product offered only through partner gyms, yoga studios, sports teams, professional athletes, therapy centers, specialty sporting goods stores, wellness centers, and for home delivery in select areas. Jeezy finally gave us an inside look of his life and struggles to success with his biography, Adversity for Sale, You Gotta Believe, shortly after the release of his book, his divorce with reality star Jeannie Mai was publicized. Even during times of tribulation, Jeannie supported and promoted Jeezy's book to her following. This speaks volume to their relationship and her understanding of her husband. Jeezy isn't one to shy away from black empowerment and investing back in his community. He partnered with Figure Communications, whose founder is one of the youngest African-Americans to own and operate an independent U.S.-based telecommunication company. What's unique about the cell phone company is they offer free cell phone service, tablets, and internet to select households who qualify, taking a note from the Obama phone a few years back. Speaking of Obama, Jeezy got a personal shout out from the president for his song, My President is Black. In the first term, I sang Al Green. In my second term, I'm going with young Jeezy. This song was significant as it gave a recognition for how powerful the first black president was to the black and brown communities. Though the phones also have the capability to expand your phone line to two different numbers on one phone, no more need for two phones. Jeezy also has his nonprofit Street Dreams Foundation. Through his nonprofit, he offers a variety of services for black youth, specifically in Atlanta, GA. The goal of the foundation is to teach impoverished communities the power of entrepreneurship and financial literacy. Through his foundation, he's hosted various events such as bike giveaways, back to school drives, Christmas toy giveaways, and voter registration. Education is the key, man. The youth is the key, so we gotta make sure we get back and make sure. You know, they got all the supplies they need so they can run this country one day. So y'all just roll with me right quick, you know what I mean? We're gonna do it like some G's. We're gonna just hop on on the block, man. Make sure they got book bags, you know what I mean? Education is power, baby. It's the key. Let's get it. Jeezy was presented with one of the highest honors, the Phoenix Award, for his charitable work. As you can see, Jeezy has been busy diversifying his investments. We may not be able to track down all monetary value of all the business dealings, but we can abstract key takeaways. Not everyone and their mama needs to know what you are doing. Some business ventures are best kept and celebrated in private. For example, the upscale steakhouse that Jeezy invested in. Soon as people knew he was involved, the ambiance of the restaurant changed. Loyal supporters were eager to attend and demonstrate their loyalty. But with the influx of people came a shift in atmosphere. Some began to treat the restaurant more like a nightclub seeking a carefree vibe and casually smoking as if they were in a different setting altogether, which resulted in his restaurant being shut down and no longer in business. There's a reason he moves in silence and everything isn't advertised for the world to know and follow. Sometimes organic support is the best support as it's confirmation that you are in the correct lane and people aren't just coming to the business because they are loyal fans. It may be something new, something out of your comfort zone, but take the time to bet on yourself advice from Jeezy himself. Everybody's not a basketball player. Everybody's not gonna be a doctor. Everybody's not gonna be a lawyer. But you know, there's this new thing that everybody loves now, and it's being an entrepreneur because it's like, if you can hold it in your head, you can hold it in your hands. Embrace your billionaire mindset. 
Here's three tips from Jeezy's low-key approach that you can apply to your life. Number one, master the art of moving in silence. Follow Jeezy's example and understand the power of keeping your endeavors low-key. Avoid broadcasting every detail of your business ventures or personal accomplishments as this can attract unwanted attention or disrupt the organic growth of your projects. Number two, diversify your investments strategically. Emulate Jeezy's approach to wealth accumulation by diversifying your investments beyond traditional avenues. Consider opportunities in real estate, spirits industry partnerships, telecommunications, and philanthropic ventures to build a robust portfolio that secures long-term financial stability. Number three, maintain integrity and authenticity in business. Embrace Jeezy's approach of prioritizing integrity and authenticity in all your business dealings. Instead of chasing fame or publicity, focus on maintaining the core values that define your brand. By staying true to yourself and your vision, you'll attract genuine support and build a solid foundation for sustainable success. That's a wrap on this video discussing how Jeezy makes boss moves right under our nose without us smelling it. Don't forget to drop a like on this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. Also, check out our Spotify link in the description for wealth and mindset affirmations that you can listen to daily to reprogram your subconscious mind. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.